Hey, it's Mark. I've got the fuel tank off on the bike to uh, replace the fuel pump and fuel filter. Thought this would be a good time to install this EFI tuner. It's got a sticker on it from Wild Pig Pipes, but it's basically the same Dobeck EFI uh, tuner that you would get from Dobeck Performance. And it's a Generation 3, a Gen 3, so it should be, uh, be able to set up just the same with the eight LED lights, the green, yellow, red, and blue LEDs. So we'll be tuning it up later, but I thought while the tank is off, be a good time to go ahead and install. Now I've already removed the fuel injection connection from the uh, injectors down inside there. Here's the plug. It's, a, it's just a simple matter of of uh, pressing in on this metal wire and see how it lifts up away once you press in if you can if you can make that out so you press in on the metal wire and then pull up and it should disconnect it might take a little tugging but try not to pull on the wire pull on the connector as best you can I've got both of mine unplugged and before I go ahead and plug everything back in and make the connections on the uh, the tuner end. Here are all the tuner connections and there are instructions to go with this one on which plug is supposed to go where and I'll get into that in a minute but I'm going to go ahead and coat the insides of these with some dielectric grease just to make sure that no corrosion starts to happen inside there. And this is what I'm talking about. It's from Permatex dielectric tune-up grease for electrical connections and I've been using this on just about everything. Okay I've got the connectors with just a coating of dielectric grease. Dielectric means it shouldn't conduct electricity so let's hope that's the case. So for those of you that hate dielectric grease go ahead and put it in the comments if you want to but that's how I'm gonna run right now is with it so let's go ahead and connect these connectors up Okay, according to the directions, they want the connectors in and out that go to the front cylinder. The connectors need to be the yellow and white connectors. And the other ones are gray and green and red. But uh, yellow and white and red go to the front and the other ones go to the rear. So let's do it that way and see what happens. All right, now they recommend going in from the left-hand side of the bike because that is more open from the other side to get to the injectors and hide the wiring away and then we can use some zip ties to further secure it. Bring it across back here and down inside this side cover is what I'm planning to do. Okay, well, starting right here where it comes up from the fuel injectors, I've got the first zip tie and then zip tied all along here underneath that middle plate cover comes across here and it will fit in between the side cover and the frame and go right down to the tuner unit itself so got everything all hooked up got the ground wire connected to the negative on the battery with a 10 millimeter wrench that's all tight, ready to go. So it looks like we're hooked up and ready to fire it up. 